Hey everybody, that's a bit late, but anyway, welcome to part 9 of Sonic Generations Virtual Qualis Commentary. I'm Shang02. And this is Dr. Jarm Born. And considering that Sonic was able to sound us up properly, properly, blah blah blah, <laughs> I'm going to make the assumption that you did not blow out your wind pipes during the previous episode with all that laughter. No, I'm good. <laughs> Just, I, I don't know, did your mic just pick it up so loudly, but Jesus Christ, you seriously sounded like you blow out your windpipe or two. <laughs> yeah. Then again, those, those were pretty big fails on my part. <laughs> and it's not going to be any different here as... Yeah. <laughs> okay. I derp a lot. How many times did you fail before yeah. you actually got all this stuff at the start? Well, with this, I just simply derp around for... How long? Again, <laughs> I derp around for several minutes wasting everyone's time, including mine, so I just restarted the freaking stage, and even then, I still managed to fuck up here and there, just simply because I don't realize to pay attention to shit, or I forget, I got a fucking double jump with this shit. <laughs> hey. Oh, that was close. Yep. Stuff like that, so... Yeah, I had to do a lot of editing in this. Mm -hmm. This episode. Oh, because, uh, I don't know, probably the... Uh, glitch, that glitch of epic proportions from last time just completely screwed my head or something. <laughs> oh, lord. That truck driver is still I drunk! I still don't understand how the hell... Yep, master it out for fuck's sake. Come on, shoot already. Thank you. Uh, I... I... I can't, uh... uh no, sometimes it's just these missions, man. I... I just end up spending a little bit more time on this than I probably should, but whatever. Mm -hmm. And since these are nothing but missions, so there's really nothing too interesting to talk about, well, except for one... One mission that's going to come up in this video, which is just... When you put it into a certain context, it's just freaking absurd and fucking creepy. <laughs> but until then... Then... Until that time, uh, how's... How's your day been over there at Australia? Uh, I think we're expecting rain soon, but I'm not sure at the moment. It's sort of like teasing us out here. Ah. Like, it's... And that does For the past few days, yeah, it's just been real muggy, like... <laughs> just too hot. So ah. hopefully, if we do get this rain, Here it's gonna cool down everything. Hmm. Good for ya. Here, it's kinda the up. Uh, Pacet basically seems like spring seems to be coming in early this year since... Uh, all the snow is just... Pretty much reduced to the state that it's all half water now, so ugh, not really exactly the nicest of weather to go outside, but still. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Uh, I love that violin violin theme of the City Escape song. It's just so like damn peaceful. Ah oh, yeah, it is. It is pretty good, and I believe. Because ain't that how long it takes me since I don't remember, remember actually how long I turned around the fucking place before I actually find the freaking thing. Yoka still tormenting ya! Oh yeah, here we go. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> this mission. Okay, I'm... Ah. Uh, this mission is just... Silly. Okay, I didn't... Yeah, that's one way to put it. Well, clear says Tempest. I ended up editing. 
Yep. That piece of junk robot is no match for my charms. Which raises the question, and everyone's made this joke, but fuck it, I'm gonna do it anyway. Why the hell would Eggman program lost into his fucking robot? Why? <laughs> Got the fractional service does that, sir? I don't know. Sonic. Or then Eggman is just creepily lonely man. Uh, that reminds me of that one. One comic. One fan made comic strip that I once saw on TV and Outwear. Oh, God's sake. <laughs> on TV and Outwear, it was basically. Basically, Eggman posting how he's. Becky made Metal Sonic perfect for the Olympic Games and the Metal Sonic notes that besides all the athletic skills news that were downloaded on his hard drive, Eggman also loaded him with full of hot time and he's bored. What? Yeah, let that sink in for a while. <laughs> Somehow I kinda get the feeling that this probably had the same idea behind it. Maybe. If the scientists to have lost just simply because he felt like it. God damn it, Sonic! And edit. Sonic. Yeah. Uh, this mission I had to edit out a lot just simply because I, I don't realize to pay attention or then that freaking charm effect goes out way sooner than I than I expected to do so. Yeah. Yeah, I get I, a I... sheep shot at a lot. I noticed that actually, like, I don't, like, it actually was a bit short on a few of the robots you shot it on. Yeah, I don't know exactly, exactly, is it just, is it just generate that short or, I don't know, because, I'm not sure, I think. From some other footages I've seen from this game, the charm effect I think should last a little bit longer, so I don't know, maybe that's something with just a PS3 version or something, but... Yeah, I, I've had a bit of trouble on the PC version, also. Ah. Yeah. Ugh, fuck! Why so many possible <laughs> robot for fuck's sake! <laughs> God damn it, Now that I think about it, now that I think about it, about it, what makes this even more creepier is that it's not just that these robots feel lost, they feel lost. Oh, god damn it, Sonic. Anymorphic bat woman. Oh. You make your own conclusions about that. Oh, I hate this part because. Ugh. Good thing that you don't need to slay every last one of these fuckers, but you almost have to, otherwise the, there's always going to be some block that just doesn't, isn't there, and you just can't reach that freaking full ring. Uh, yep. Need less batting much. Hmm. I was just thinking, like, what if it's probably nanomachines Bruce uses? Uh, like, this is just my idea, but like, how, like, in the Metal Gear series, um, they use, like, nanomachines and stuff for other things. Uh, like, it's hard to explain, but, uh, they use, sometimes, like, radio interference can cause them to react in certain rea uh, ways. That's just my idea, maybe. So, unless that's how Rouge is that doing it. Well, that is quite an interesting idea, and it kind of would actually make sense. No, fuck it, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Easy note to catch. Ooh, that's a gauge from Sonic Spinball. Which, which I, by the way, thing is... I don't think Sonic Spinball is... Come uh? here, word of breaks! <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> With Sonic scale, that's like, what, 9,999,999 fucking rings. No, fuck that, I'm not giving you that much. <laughs> she really is a freaking girl. Christ. 
Well, I guess that would explain it in the Sonic Shorts series where Vector sort of did, like, asked her how much she pays. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm not a hooker. Bling! <laughs> uh. da 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 I got you this one bloody note. I'm oh, failing massively. Where did it go now? I have no clue. Oh god damn it, classic. I still think I don't know did I say this sometime earlier during this series, but I swear to god it just seems that Classic Sonic has there we go. Classic Sonic just seems to have a little bit too much momentum for his old goo. Hmm. No, he just seems to slip up platforms a hell of a lot easier than modern Sonic does. And let me see... I think... Actually, here I... It kinda ended up accidentally taking a little bit for a mission, because what I was planning to show was one of the SPO missions, but instead I decided ended up taking a modern Sonic double gamer race, because... Hmm. Because... Eh, I don't know, I just felt like doing one. I will say this, it's actually a good idea how like, they had the characters on those like things on the bottom there, how they actually gave them their own special mission. Yeah. Yeah, it adds to the variety of the game and does add to the content, so... But that also means that I'm going to have a lot of fucking cleanup to do in the cleanup episode. Right. <laughs> Ooh, oh, that's going to be a pain to edit, especially if my fuck up ratio is going to be for those anywhere near what it turned out to be towards this point of the game. Now, bomb to the face. Screw the bomb, you got rings! Pretty much. Oh, that's like close as long as you rings, you can probably scuff up a goddamn nuclear explosion if he wants to. That, by the way, work. Uh, what do you mean? Like, if Sonic just simply has a one ring in a back pocket somewhere, Nuka go, goes up and he somehow survives and only loses the fucking ring. Well, work. I, I guess he would be able to survive it. Bit of fail there, but I don't know. I. It's just kind of a funny thought because, because I don't think they've quite exactly specified what kind of a hit the rings protect you from, so... And homie failed. <laughs> Whoa! In the Archie comics, uh, they... I think they did say that since Sonic has absorbed so many rings or so, it's now made him into somewhat of a god? I think, I'm not sure now. Uh, I... Now that refers more to his ability to transform to Super Sonic VRG. In person. It, ba it basically, it means that because he says he captured so many rings during his travels, that's why he's basically able to transform into Super Sonic when he gets the Chaos Emerald. I hmm. think that's how it goes in Arctic continuity, and here I get way too many close calls because I'm reckless uh -huh. an idiot. Which is not a good thing to do here. I as a modern think Sonic you're gonna does. lose to Doppelganger here. I got a feeling you uh, are. Believe it or not, despite all this fuck up, I somehow, don't ask me how, I actually win this fucking thing, see? That close, <laughs> and yet I still. Oh, for God's sake! Bone. <laughs> uh. Well, enjoy our third extra commentator, the phone. What's your opinion on this? Ring, 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 I ring, see. ring, ring. Banana phone. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm just going to let that thing silence itself. I'm not going to bother answering it now. 
<laughs> I don't even hear it. <laughs> and somehow I won no. with an A rank, no less. I have no clue how the hell I did that, but I'll take it. <laughs> And that concludes the mission, so now it's just going to be dropping around, failing to capture notes, and also trying to capture the goddamn. Uh, oh, I you so close! Because somehow I for. Somehow I forgot the quick. There we go, got <laughs> that. Bomb tree panic, I think that's wrong. Sonic CD. I think that's from. Oh, wait, Sonic CD. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, so. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> that flip floppy. For some reason, I recall that was from the Game Gear games. But. Yeah. Actually, I don't know. Is there any tracks in this game from those? Um, I think there might be few, but. No, I don't think so. Oh! Well, no. Fucking Orca. <laughs> well, unless they made a Game Gear version of Sonic Spinball, but I don't think they did. Uh, no, they didn't. There we go, the last fucking key we needed. And of course, setting up for the next episode after I turn around for once again an unnecessary amount of time. Him going to go to the space where the mini boss is so we can start the next episode with boss battles. Nice. And I'm gonna be perfectly honest here a little bit ahead but through the pit told I'm not too big of a fan of the shadow fight. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Uh, I do Oh well, yeah. you talk first. Because I I don't know, it just compared to the the other ones that we have here, it feels uh how should I put not as action packed as the others. Feels more like a just a simple race, but anywho, that concludes the episode nine of Sonic Terrorism's Go commentary, but what were you were going to say about the shadow? Uh I'll I'll save it until the next part. Ah, uh, okay. Well, in that case, that completely concludes that, so... This is Dr. Chan Reborn, and... Shank02. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, here at Birch Koala Channel, during the same Birch Koala time... I don't know why I felt compelled to say, say it like that. <laughs> but, until next time, bye-bye everyone, see us later. See yous.